welcome to a new little quick tip for KDE Plasma and in particular the Ocular application. So this is Ocular, a nice PDF viewer and I want to show you in this little quick tip how you can add your own signature to Ocular. And I'm not talking about the digital signature which allows you to install or yeah, use a file signature under tools you usually have the digital design option that will sign the document document is meant with the file so we'll add a signature to the file itself i'm talking about the plain old little contract that you have and you have like a field here where you just have to have your signature just like on a piece of paper and this is what i want to show you right now it's a quick and easy tip on how to do this because sadly there's nothing really built in to ocular that allows you to do this directly there are certain ways so if you go under tools you have annotations that you can use here and you can use the highlighter here to highlight stuff of course and you also have the option to write certain things or you have the option to uh, do some arrows here straight lines rectangles ellipses, and so on and then you can just in theory do something here as well if you want to uh, with it uh, a freehand line i think it is and then you can choose the color that you want to have like for example blue and you can then try to sign this document here this is possible and especially if you have a touch screen you can use even your finger so let's uh, undo this here and i use my finger now and uh, do like some signature so this would be possible as well you might need to adapt the uh, opacity and maybe i think you can also check the width here i can change the width to one so let's go back here let me check it's one and uh, yeah it's a bit clearer then so this is what you can do on modern uh, devices but what if you have like to add a signature to multiple documents adding the signature all the time might be a little bit of cumbersome so another option that you have here is if you already had created a signature or you don't have a touch screen on your laptop but you have a phone or something else and you prepared a signature just like for example i used my huawei notebook notepad here and have pen and could really do a signature here and the only thing i'm i'm using gimp here too is like uh, get this out of here add a transparent background to it save it as a png file in my pictures folder and the only thing I have to do now is go under settings, configure ocular, and then under annotations, I have quick annotation tools. I can add a new one and I will say in this case, signature test because it's a test now. I choose from type stamp because I want to have it as stamp and as a stamp, you have the option to just simply choose whatever file you want. Like for example, a picture file as well. So I go in here choose under pictures my signature test png file now i have my signature test png file and it's done opacity i can change if i want to uh, usually it's not necessary if you've done it the same way i do did it here i click on apply uh, now i can get rid of this maybe rid of this and the only thing i have to do is now again tools make sure annotations is enabled i can click here on this little drop down choose signature test and what i can do is now and this is i think very very cool i can just draw the box where i want to have my signature so i can just click and i get the original signature you can see it might be a bit too small so um let's get rid of it and like draw a box where i want to have it like this for example and it would automatically scale the signature of course this depends on the signature you have and you have to have some uh, kind of aspect ratio in your head to do this so let's let's make it like this for example and it would look like a real signature of course if you do it in GIMP you can change the color and so on if you want to and you have it always as signature test here and can draw it up and you can do the same thing not only with signatures but with other things like other stamps that you have to add here to a file so this is a nice option uh, with the stamp option and then of course you can save it uh, print it out um, export it as plain text even though i think the signature will not be exported then but this is the possibility that you have with ocular to sign documents in a real like in a physical world sign it really with a pen 
uh, for printing it out or for sending it to, to someone and uh, not the digitally signed option that signs the file so i hope you enjoyed this little tip and trick on uh, the ocular pdf viewer uh, hope it is useful for you and that's everything for this video until the next time bye